Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. I'm Angel Azara, and I'm a professional opera singer and voice teacher. And today I'm going to be reacting to and analyzing Freddie Mercury and Montserrat Caballé singing Barcelona. I have, this is going to be the first opera singer that I've analyzed and okay, I will do my best analyzing Montserrat Caballé and saying things that are helpful and informational and not just me going, is Montserrat Caballé, which is what I normally do when I listen to her sing. So, all right, let's go. <laughs> the lighting. It's been a long time since I've seen this. I don't remember this at all. That slow slide. It's so weird hearing them together because their voices are so different. Not only, you know, masculine and feminine, but his voice is so, it's a clean voice, but it's it's got that constant level of huskiness to it. Um, whereas her voice is like the smoothest, most slippery satin imaginable, or silk, I should say. Um, so hearing the two of them kind of, it creates this really nice friction but look at Caballé's tongue, y'all. It's just so relaxed. Everything is so perfect when she sings. Freddie Mercury, obviously, I mean, he's Freddie Mercury, so he's a legend in his own right. But the two of them together is just too much. And I really, it has been a while since I've seen this. I completely forgot, like, the English and then the translation. The prayer could never. I'm sorry. This is such a better version of that style. Even though their styles are so clearly different, um, it's really nice to see them perfectly blending on all of the dynamics. That's cool to see. Like they pull away at exactly the right time. Um, I think they were friends in real life. I, not just like put together for this one concert. Like um, I know I've talked about the Pavarotti Celine Dion duet before. Um, no, I think Freddie and Montserrat were actually friends. I love it. That's all I can say. She's so perfect. She sounds good. I don't know what she's doing with her arms, but she's feeling those sleeves. She's feeling them. And her voice is just the smoothest thing. Like it literally feels like my ears are engulfed by poofy Care Bear clouds whenever I listen to her sing. Like it's just so smooth like butter. And that's not to say I don't like the rougher quality of Freddie Mercury's voice, I do, but man, both of them together is just ridiculous. Stop the 
Okay, I have to pause it there because what is Montserrat's tongue doing? What's happening? Look at that. Do you see that? I, I can't even make that happen in my mouth. She's got it tilted up. I can't. What? I mean, her tongue, definitely the base of her tongue isn't pressing down on her hyoid bone or any of the vocal apparatus down here. But that's a weird way to think. <laughs> that's so strange. I've never noticed that before. With my tongue in a normal position, do you hear a difference? Do you hear a difference? <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, there's nothing that I have read that would say that that is a bad position. If you're just singing like a nonsense vowel, I mean, obviously that's not a healthy position if you're articulating text because your tongue is vital in the production of actual, you know, comprehensible vowels and also the articulation of consonants. But I mean, she's definitely maintaining a very open throat with her tongue in that position. But what is that position? <laughs> okay. I'm not going to say boo to it because it's caballé. I'm not going to say Jack. <laughs> but I don't think that I'm going to adopt that tongue position anytime soon. <laughs> Listening to the two of them do <laughs> Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Listening to the two of them together is like it's like getting chocolate covered almonds or something because you I know I keep talking about it, but getting the roughness of his voice and the power of his voice and then her just like the smooth encasing around it is just it's just nice. It's just nice. Oh, go up, girl. recently she died in 2018 that's so sad oh my gosh the two of them just like y'all we're in a whole, such a different era now I don't think we'll ever have singers like that again and that's not to say that I don't think we'll have the quality of singers like them again but I just don't think that the way the industry is now that singers like that are revered in the same way that they were or I don't know maybe 30 years from now singers um, who are achieving like this level of talent and technique will be legends in the future. But it just doesn't seem that way with the way the industry 
sort of throws away amazing voices or how so many amazing voices just don't get recognized at all. But yeah, I, why have I not listened to this in so long? It's such a jam. Thank you so much for recommending this to me. I cannot believe it has been so long. Um, I want to react to more Freddie Mercury on his own. I'd like to react to more Caballé on her own and maybe delve a little bit deeper into that weird tongue position that I saw. Um, gonna have, it's gonna be in my dreams. <laughs> But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video informational or helpful at all, please uh, comment, like, subscribe, send me your own suggestions for me to listen, and toy, toy, toy until next time.